Hello, my name's Linda. I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm making an anniversary card today. I'm using the new Jar of Flowers um, bundle. So the stamp set and the punch. And also you can get this really pretty ribbon, Flowers for Every Season ribbon, and these really lovely domes. So these are the mason jar domes. And you use your punch and then this will pop in and we're going to be using one of these today so I can show you how to use those and the flowers for every season gems so these can go into your dome if you're going to be making a shaker card so let's just get started I'm going to start with some stamping I'm going to be using um, the sunflowers for my card but you can choose whichever ones you want to use I've got my sunflowers already positioned in my um, stamp apparatus and I'm going to be using the tuxedo black memento ink I'm going to be using my blends, so I'm going to be blending my colours for this. So that's why I'm using this ink. I'm just going to turn it around and put a different platform on. And I'm now going to um, stamp my jar. Again, I'm using black. just going to flip this round and I've got the stems and I'm going to just put those in as well. I've already set this all up ready so you can do a few in one go. I've already done all of my colouring and um, I'm going to show you what I've done. So I've coloured my um, sunflowers and I think that's um, a thistle there and I've just used all my blends for this and then I've done my jar as well I did this one wrong I put the water right up to the top and really I only wanted it to there I would have liked to have used um, light pool party I've used old, old olive as my green but my light pool party um, had run out so I had to use my dark one so um, I would have preferred it to be a little bit lighter than that so I've fussy cut this one out and so next I want to use my punch to punch out my my little jam jar or mason jar so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick a few of my little gems into my jam jar I'm just going to use um, some fine tipped glue, just come in a little bit there so you can see what I'm doing. I am going to use these as a shaker in my card, but I just wanted to put a few just dotted around that are just stuck on the bubble there. And I'm doing this now and then they can dry where we make the rest of the card. Okay, so I've just added um, three there. I tried it out earlier and they stick really well. So this is the paper we're going to be using. I've used Whisper White and I've used the rectangle, um, stitched rectangle die. So this is the largest, the two largest actually. I've already done a little bit of stamping and that's from the Well Said stamp set. So I've stamped the middle, so that's going to be the middle of my card. And using the smallest stitched rectangle die, I've just... Um, stamped anniversary. I've used uh, Knight of Navy because my base is going to be Knight of Navy. So this paper comes from a new design series paper, it's 12 by 12, it's called In Good Taste. You actually get 24 sheets from this one, and obviously it's all double sided. It's really pretty, I like this, it just looks a bit like tiles. Um, and I've cut two of these at the same size, so I'm making a 5 by 7 card. Um, so I've cut these at four and a half by six and a half or 11.5 by 16.5 centimeters and they're both the same size and my card base as I said is Knight of Navy and um, it's going to be a five by seven card so it's 10 inches by seven inches or 25 by 17.5 centimeters and I'm just going to score this down the center so I'm actually working in inches today so I'm going to be scoring this at five inches 
but if you were working in centimetres it would be 24.5 centimetres. So I'm just going to start by um, sticking this to the front of my card. And I've made this so it's got um, quite a large border around it. And then this piece is going to go inside our card. And then I'm going to stick this one on top. So using the smallest of the large rectangles that um, we die cut out, I'm going to put my jar on my card here. So I'm going to punch out where I want my jar to go. Had a bit of a camera glitch there, so I'm coming back. Hopefully this is in the same place that I finished. Um, so I've punched my uh, mason jar out and I want my rectangle to be at the top of my card. I'm going to have my anniversary sentiment here. So when you've decided where you want to put your rectangle and you've got that straight, so I'm happy with where that is. I'm just gonna use a bit of snail on the in the hole and then I'm going to place my jar into the gap and then we can take this off so we've just stuck the jar in at the moment so now um, I've got one of the domes and these are sticky on both sides so you've got a, like a sticky bit here and a sticky bit here we want to take the top layer off first so they've got like um, some release paper so we're going to take that off first and then with the um, paper with the correct way up so this is the good side this is the bad side we're going to put that over the top and push it down and so that is obviously going to pop over like this so next we want to fill our jar with our um, Flowers for every season gems. I'm actually um, only using the clear ones for this card. These have got some really pretty ones in as well, but I believe these are the, um, I think this is just the new in colour, this green. I think it's the Just Jade. And I don't have a lot of green in this card, so I just wanted to put some of the clear ones in. So next, we're going to take the release paper off of the back of the card so this is the wrong side this is the right side I'm just going to put a tiny bit of um, glue in some of these corners and then we're going to pop this down over our mason jar and then we've got our shaker so next we can put um, our sentiment on. I'm going to pop that up actually on some mini dimensionals. And then I want to stick my um, sunflowers onto my card. Now I've used this really pretty uh, white ribbon and I've made a little bow and I'm going to pop that on the center of my jar and there you go finished and that shaker love that I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye